investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing registration granted by sebi membership of basl and certification from nism in no way guarantee performance of the intermediary or provide any assurance of returns to investors hi i am tanushri banerji today i'm here to reveal a potential huge opportunity that is staring at us right now my research says that 2024 could turn out to be a pivotal year in the history of indian stock market this year could mark the beginning of a potential mega bull run in blue chip stocks a bull run that doesn't just last for a few months or a few years but the one that continues for several years perhaps even decades yes I am confident about it. Today, I will show you why. You see, I have been tracking blue chip stocks for two decades now, but I have rarely seen the possibility of so many powerful forces coming together in a single year. But this year, I am seeing a strong possibility of it happening right in front of my eyes. There are three powerful forces that I have uncovered through my research. the combined power of these three forces is phenomenal this election year we could see these three powerful forces coming together to generate the kind of impact that we have rarely seen in the indian stock market and i believe the biggest boost could come in blue chip stocks it could propel many blue chip stocks to potentially record highs in the coming years If you invest your money in stocks then you simply cannot ignore this opportunity today otherwise you could miss out on making some of the biggest potential gains of your lifetime and i'm very serious about it you see this is not about the 2024 election it is not about whether the modi government comes back to power in 2024 or not instead it is about something much bigger You see whatever the government has done in the last 10 years has set the stage for these three powerful forces to come together. Today I will show you what these three forces are and how they could combine this election year to potentially start a mega bull run in blue chip stocks. Plus you will also have the chance to access my top blue chip stock recommendations right now. There is a lot that we are going to cover today. So stay tuned till the end to get all the details. Now before we begin let me quickly introduce myself. I am Tanushree Banerjee. I am the co-head of research here at Equity Master. I have been researching on safe stocks and identifying big mega trends for two decades now. You may have often seen my research getting quoted in media publications like Forbes, Financial Express, Economic Times, Money Control, Business Standard, Mint, and many others. I even release my research videos on Equity Master's YouTube channel with over 150,000 subscribers. Plus, I also share my research with almost 5 lakh Indians every week through our flagship email newsletter. Now, I am not saying all this to boast about myself. I just want to show you that I've got the deep domain expertise in the field of investment. I have been researching on blue chip stocks for almost two decades and over these years I have identified many emerging trends in the markets well before they became the topic of everyday news. Today I will show you one more emerging trend that I'm tracking right now. And this is a potential mega bull run in blue chip stocks in the next 3 to 5 years and possibly even beyond. Let me show you why I'm so confident about it. If you look at the historical data then you will find that since the start of the 21st century the stock market has always rallied in the election year not only that even after the elections the markets have continued their upward trend for next several years as you can see here and these are just the index returns individual stocks have offered even better returns 300% 500% 1000% or even more Now please note that here I am not saying that if something has happened in the past then it can happen in the future as well in the stock market there are no guarantees but the fact that we are seeing so much positivity in the market starting from election years proves that probably this is an important trend 
And what makes it even more solid is the presence of three powerful forces that could combine this election year to possibly propel the markets even higher. Now, before I show you these three powerful forces, let me show you the current state of the blue chip stocks. The BSE Sensex has remained almost flattish between October 2021 to October 2023. Though post this, we have seen some recovery in the index. But more or less, the performance of most blue chip stocks have remained muted. In fact, there are many blue chip stocks that have hardly offered any returns during this time. Investors are chasing quick returns in small caps and mid caps. But I believe now this pattern could possibly start to reverse at any moment. And we could see a flood of money flowing into blue chip stocks in the next 3 to 5 years. And this could take many blue chip stocks to record highs. I am telling you, if you can grab this opportunity today, then there's a potential to make huge gains in the next 3 to 5 years. But you need to act as fast as possible, preferably right now. Because if you delay, then your potential returns may not look that exciting. So the time is of essence here. With every passing day, the power of these forces that I'm going to reveal in just a moment could begin to rise. And as it happens, we may also see a potential sharp rise in blue chip stocks. I have identified several blue chip stocks where I'm seeing a very high possibility of rally happening in the next coming years. But before we talk about stocks, let me show you those three powerful forces that could ignite a potential mega bull run in blue chip stocks. The first one is heavy foreign fund flows. Now this is a mammoth force. In India, we are yet to experience the full power of this force. This single force has the power to potentially lift many blue chip stocks to record highs in the long term. But until now, this force was a bit muted because the interest rates in the United States were very high and foreign investors had many other attractive investing opportunities apart from India. The top one amongst these was China. But now the US Treasury yield has started to dip and China is no longer an attractive investment destination. China's stock market is in complete shambles. Its real estate market is collapsing and heavy interference of the government in business affairs is dampening the investor sentiment like never before. In 2023, annual foreign investment flows into China shrunk for the first time ever in over a decade. And Alicia Garcia Herrero, chief economist for Asia Pacific at Francis Natsix has said 2024 will be worse, meaning China is facing troubles on multiple fronts. Every now and then, you see news about foreign investors fleeing China in droves. Just see for yourself. The Bloomberg said a $188 billion exodus shows China's heft fading in the world markets. The Economic Times said China's weight in emerging market index drops to record low. The Economist quoted foreign investors are fleeing China. The Mint said China's property stocks slump lose $55 billion value as debt woes escalate. Business Insider says China's market crash could be the last draw for many foreign investors who leave permanently. Nikkei Asia says investors pulling out of Chinese stocks at faster pace. The Wall Street Journal says Wall Street puts a sell on its China holdings. I can go on and on. China has lost its sheen as an attractive investment destination. After the blunders of COVID-19, it seems like nobody wants to trust China. Also, most investors dislike the heavy-handed nature of its authoritarian government. Its constant interference in business affairs is making things worse for investors and entrepreneurs. The combined effect of all this chaos is forcing foreign investors to shun China and look for safer investment destination. And there is only one developing country in the world right now that can match the might of China and absorb billions of dollars of inflow in a safe way. That is India. According to India's national depository data, foreign portfolio investment in the Indian equity market 
was 171,000 crores in the year 2023 alone. I believe as the US Treasury yield falls and as more investors pull money out of China, we could see foreign fund flows into India intensifying at a rapid rate. And this could possibly trigger a rally in several blue chip stocks. Now, what makes this possibility even stronger is the chance of heavy inflows from sovereign wealth funds and pension funds. These funds are huge. When they come in, they come in with billions of dollars. Just see these news articles. UAE Wealth Fund plans 4 to $5 billion in investment via India's new finance hub. Global funds raising their allocation for India. India potential investment destination for new Irish sovereign wealth fund. Investments by sovereign wealth funds surged 56% in 2022. Saudi Arabia to invest in Indian startups will set up sovereign wealth fund office in India. Singapore's Temasek looking to invest $10 million in the next three years to back India Inc. So as you can see, while foreign investors are fleeing China, they are planning to invest billions in India. And when you have billions to invest, you cannot put your money in tiny small caps or mid cap companies. You need giant sized blue chip companies to park your money. That is why I'm saying when heavy foreign investment flow starts into India, we could see a potential huge bull run in blue chip stocks. And I'm not the only one saying this. Many experts of the investment world also hold similar view. Natsik says, India on cusp of investment bull run that will stretch beyond 2024. As per Money Control, Saurabh Mukherjee, the founder of Marcellus Investment Manager says, foreign investors to soon rush for India. Time to look at large caps. Marathon Trends, Atul Thuri says, Tsunami of foreign flows, largest ever, likely in 2024. I am telling you, this is a big opportunity for investors. Don't miss it. Over the coming days and months, we could see the market activity getting a lot more intense. The right time to grab good investment opportunities is now. Not when the whole market has discovered this opportunity and everyone starts jumping into blue chip stocks like crazy. I have already identified my top blue chip stocks right now. These stocks are set for a potential sharp bull run in the next 3 to 5 years. But before we talk about stocks, let me show you the second powerful force that could possibly propel these stocks even higher. Mutual fund flows shifting to large caps. Around 10 years back, in the year 2014, the Indian mutual fund industry was relatively small in size. Its total assets under management, or AUM, stood at around 9 trillion rupees back then. But by the start of the year 2024, it has grown almost six times and reached a level of 52 trillion rupees. That's 52 lakh crore. It's humongous. Today, mutual funds are a powerful force and they have the potential to make or break the market. Just see what heavy mutual fund flows into small cap and mid cap stocks have done. Since the April of 2023, we have witnessed a sharp inflow into mutual fund schemes of small and mid cap stocks. Between April 2023 to December 2023, that's just nine months, mid cap mutual funds have seen net inflows of 17,000 crores. And small cap mutual funds have seen net inflows of a whopping 34,000 crores. These heavy inflows are one of the key reasons behind almost vertical rally in small and mid cap stocks. The BSE Small Cap Index has rallied by 56% in these 9 months and the BSE Mid Cap Index has rallied by 52%. But if you look at the broader market index, that is the BSE Sensex, then you will see that it has grown by just 22% in this time. That's a severe underperformance. If you look at the mutual fund data, then you will find one of the probable reasons behind this underperformance. As you can see in this chart, there's hardly any money going into large cap mutual funds. In fact, investors are pulling their money out of large caps. This is clearly evident in this chart. 
In just nine months between April 2023 to December 2023, almost 4,900 crores is pulled out of large cap funds. So it is no wonder that large caps will underperform. But I believe this is the trend that could begin to reverse at any moment. Vertical rise of small cap and mid cap stocks is not sustainable. Beyond a point, it almost becomes like a gamble. Valuations of many small cap and mid cap stocks are stretched currently. And it is risky to enter them at these sky high valuations. That's the reason why even some mutual fund houses are shutting their doors for common investors. Some fund houses like Tata, SBI and Nippon India have even stopped accepting fresh investments into their small cap schemes. So over a period of time, we may see a shift away from overheated small caps and mid caps into fairly valued large caps. And that is when we could see blue chip stocks starting to rally again. Now exactly when will this happen is something that nobody can predict. But at least we can prepare for it today so that we can position ourselves in the best possible way to ride the potential upcoming rally in blue chip stocks. As I said earlier, I have already identified my top blue chip stocks. These stocks are still available at very reasonable valuations and I believe these stocks have the best potential chance of rallying in the next 3-5 to five years. But the window of opportunity to buy these stocks is limited. As per my research, these stocks should be bought as soon as possible. Now we will get into stocks a little later on. But for now, let me show you the third powerful force that could send several blue chip stocks soaring high. And that is India's CAPEX boom. The boom in CAPEX or capital expenditure is the strongest sign of high growth potential in the economy. CAPEX expands when the government and businesses believe that we are entering a period of accelerated growth. So they start making huge investments in plants, factories, machineries, human resource and anything that helps the business grow faster. The last time when India witnessed a huge CAPEX boom, our stock market went to the roof. The period was between 2003 to 2007. During this period, India saw one of the strongest CAPEX cycles and see what it did to the stock market. The BSE Sensex rallied by six times and several sectoral indices such as banking, auto, metals and capital goods rallied between six times to 23 times. This period between 2003 to 2007 is called the mother of all bull runs. And we all know that one of the key reasons behind this mega bull run was India's CAPEX boom. Now the great news is, right now, we are just at the start of India's next CAPEX boom. And I believe this time, the growth potential could be even stronger. Because the CAPEX boom of 2003-2007 to was mainly centered around conventional industries like power, construction and real estate. But this time around, CAPEX is more diverse, with huge focus on emerging sectors and manufacturing. The Indian government's CAPEX spending is increasing consistently year on year. As per the budget estimates of the year 2023-24, this CAPEX figure is likely to touch a whopping 13.7 lakh crore. This is massive. And it is not just the government, but even the private sector is spending in a big way on CAPEX. The CAPEX of top 118 companies has crossed $80 billion in financial year 2023. As per data compiled by Bernstein Research, this is a record. This was nearly four times the past five-year average. The impact of this massive CAPEX boom is already showing up in the stock market. The prime example of this is defense stocks. A few years back, India was heavily reliant on foreign military equipment. Our guns, tanks, fighter jets and many other military products were imported from foreign countries, especially Russia. But from the year 2020, India started banning foreign imports of military equipment and instead set the mandate on our defence forces to purchase military products from Indian companies. Not only that, India also expanded its military budget in a big way. 
So, with limited competition from foreign players, the Indian defence companies got a huge runway of growth. And this led to instant rally in several defence stocks. Hindustan Aeronautics rallied by 484% in less than 4 years. Bharat Electronics shot up by 420%. And Mazgaon Dogship Builders surged by a staggering 1222% in less than 4 years. But I am telling you, this is just the beginning. This rally is just a small glimpse of what's coming ahead. Because think about it. Geopolitical conditions are getting worse year after year. There are conflicts and wars happening in almost every part of the world. There's Russia-Ukraine war. There's Israel-Hamas war. There is crisis in the Red Sea with constant attacks on merchant ships by military outfits like Houthis and Hezbollah. Iran and North Korea are striking missiles every now and then as if it's business as usual. And back home in India, we have nuclear-powered hostile neighbours like China and Pakistan to deal with. So I don't see any slowdown in the government spending on defence. And with that potential rise in defence stocks. As India becomes more self-sufficient in defence, we could possibly see even bigger growth spike in Indian defence stocks. We have already developed our Made in India fighter jet, Tejas. India's giant aircraft carrier, INS Vikram, is made right here in India. India is also capable of producing its own military-used drones like Rustam. Not only that, India has already become self-sufficient in developing missiles. I am telling you, the growth in India's defence sector has no limit. As India becomes a dominant force in the world in the coming years and decades, the government's spending on defence will only rise. And domestic demand is not the only factor that is taking India's defence stocks to record highs. Even India's defence exports are rising at a blistering pace. As you can see, India's defence exports have grown by 23 times in just 9 years. In the financial year 2022-23, this figure reached a staggering 16,000 crores. Today, India is exporting its defence products to 85 countries around the world. Countries like Italy, Russia, Mauritius, France, Egypt, Israel, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Poland, Spain and many others buy defence products and technology from India. But this is just the start. With Indian government's heavy focus on defence industry, we could possibly see exponential rise in India's defence exports in the coming years and decades. And that could ultimately translate into potential huge growth in defence stocks. But India's capex boom is not just related to the defence sector. It is widely spread across several sectors of the economy. Just look around and you will find heavy construction taking place everywhere. Roads, metros, flyovers, railway lines, airports, skyscrapers. As far as I know, I have never seen such an intense infrastructure development happening in India in my entire life. India is building world-class airports, constructing mega road projects like the Mumbai Trans Harbour Sea Link, laying out metro lines in all major cities, launching super-fast trains like Vande Bharat, not only that, India is also building its nationwide EV charging infrastructure at a rapid rate. Plus, India is also emerging as a major cloud computing and data centre hub between the Europe and Southeast Asia. Over the coming years and decades, as India inches closer towards becoming a developed nation, I believe our spending on infrastructure will only rise further. Because we will require even more airports, roads, even faster trains and bigger data centres. And that means only one thing, rally in the stocks related to these sectors. With governments increasing capex on railways, we have already seen a massive rally in several railway stocks. Rail Vikas Nigam Limited jumped by 308% in just a year. Railtail Corporation of India went up by 268%. Rights rallied by 112%. Urcon shot up by 307%. Jupiter Wagons rallied by 229%. And Titagar Rail Systems 
jumped by 402% in just around a year. But this is just the start. I strongly believe that India's CAPEX boom could drive a rally in many segments of the economy that are related to infrastructure, especially the power sector, and within that, the renewable energy sector. This is a huge untapped opportunity for investors. India has already set the target to reach net zero emissions by 2070. And this is not a random target. India is taking concrete steps towards hitting this target by spending a huge amount in CAPEX on renewable energy projects. India is already home to the world's largest solar park, the Badla Solar Park, which is located in Jodhpur district of Rajasthan. Plus, India is also expanding heavily into other renewable energy sources like wind and hydropower. And while we are discussing renewable energy sources, how can we forget electric batteries? This is one sector where I have seen potential massive opportunities in the coming years and decades. Just see how India's EV sales are skyrocketing. There is almost vertical rise happening here. But even after such a steep rise, EVs form just a small percentage of the overall auto market. And that's where the biggest opportunity lies. Because the Indian government is making huge cape expense for pushing the EV sector. And this huge thrust on EVs is also prompting several automakers to launch EV models of their popular cars. Just look around any parking lot in a shopping mall and I'm sure you will find several EV cars parked over there like Tata Nixon, Tata Tigger, MG and some such other EV cars. Bus fleet in many metro cities are turning full electric now. And logistics players are also shifting to EVs at an accelerated rate. This is all part of India's massive CAPEX boom that has just started a few years back. And as this CAPEX boom expands, we may see several companies potentially benefiting in a huge way. I am telling you the best potential gains from India's CAPEX boom are still ahead of us. This is the right time to get in. If you delay, then this once in a decade opportunity may pass you by. India's CAPEX boom could potentially send many stocks to record highs, especially the blue chip stocks. Because think about it, when it comes to making fighter jets, drones, power plants, trains and EVs, smaller companies can only play a minor role. It is the giant blue chip companies that do the heavy lifting. And they get to enjoy the biggest share of orders amongst all the companies that are out there. More orders mean more revenues and profits. And all this ultimately translates into higher share prices. That is why I am saying India's CAPEX boom could possibly trigger a massive bull run in blue chip stocks. And like we saw earlier, this is not the only force that is driving the bull run. There are two more. Heavy foreign fund flows and mutual fund flows shifting to large caps. And when these three forces combine together, like they are starting to do this election year, we could possibly see an epic rally in blue chip stocks in the long term. This is one opportunity that you cannot miss at any cost. The best time to get in is right now. World's biggest investors have already sensed this opportunity and they are getting bullish on India like never before. Chris Wood of Jefferies is bullish on India, especially the financial and property sectors. David Riedel, CEO of Riedel Research Group says, I am very, very bullish on India. They are doing all the right things and have a very high chance to outperform expectations in the next 6 to 24 months. Veteran investor Mark Mobius is ultra bullish on India. He expects the Sensex to touch 100,000 mark in 5 years. Samir Arora of Helios Capital says, India more attractive than US, China and Europe. A recent money control survey of CEOs showed 98% of CEOs are bullish on India. Ritham Desai, Morgan Stanley's chief equity strategist for India says, we believe India is set to surpass Japan and Germany to become the world's third largest economy by 2027 and will have the third largest stock market by the end of this decade. When so many veterans of the market are bullish on India, you cannot afford to take the risk of sitting on the sidelines. Or you may lose out on the opportunity to make some of the biggest potential gains of your lifetime. This potential blue chip bull run is not going to stop for you. 
Either you ride it with the best dogs or you miss it forever. You will have to decide. And you will have to decide it right now. Now at this point, the most important question is, which stocks to buy to potentially profit from this opportunity? Well, I've already done the hard work for you. Among hundreds of blue chip stocks available out there, I have identified my top two picks. Both these stocks are still available at very reasonable valuations. And I believe they have the best possible chance of rallying in the next three to five years. Let me quickly tell you a little bit about these two stocks. The first one is a giant cash generating machine. This company is one of the hot favorites of both foreign investors and even Indian mutual funds. In fact, foreign investors have so much confidence on this company's growth potential that they hold even larger share than the promoters of this company. A large number of mutual funds also hold a huge stake in this company. The company has already been one of the biggest wealth creators in India. If someone had invested even a tiny sum of rupees 500 in this company in the mid 80s, it would have turned into several crores today. Yes, several crores from just 500 rupees. I'm telling you, this company is a giant cash generating machine. Despite having grown so much in the past few decades, the growth potential of this company is still immense. It is still one of the most trusted and reputed companies in India. The growth of this company is directly linked to the growth of the Indian economy. But because of its highly competitive management and strong business practices, I believe this company could possibly grow at an even faster rate. With its strong brand name, this company has the potential to snatch away market share from its poorly run but larger competitors. And that's the reason why I'm really excited about the growth potential of this company. It's a wealth compounder stock. And I believe almost every single Indian should consider having the stock in their portfolio. This company is my top pick for riding the blue chip bull run in India. Now coming to my second stock pick. This company could turn out to be one of the biggest beneficiaries of India's Capex boom. It operates in 220 countries around the world. This company is already growing fast. Its revenues are rising consistently for many years. And as India builds more airports, roads, railway lines and ports, I believe it could accelerate the growth of this company even more. The company is already a market leader in India. It holds 55 to 65% market share in one of its key operating segments. I believe this market leadership could help this company grow at a very healthy rate for many years. Here's why I'm so confident about this growth potential. You see, this company is consistently ranked amongst India's best companies to work for. It is also listed in Forbes India's Super 50 companies. Not only that, it also features regularly in the listing of India's most trusted brands. This company has strong financials and it is a zero debt company. Plus, it has got a very high promoter holding. That means the promoters have huge confidence in the growth potential of the company. Foreign investors have also increased their stake in the company over the last three years. This company is using latest technologies like drones, artificial intelligence and machine learning to grow even faster. It is making aggressive investments in technology and infrastructure. And I believe all these investments could start paying off potentially a huge way in the future. The best thing I like about this company is that it operates on asset life model, meaning it doesn't need to make huge capital investment for growth. The capital light business model gives the company the leverage to grow with high profit margins. For all these reasons, this company is one of my top picks to ride the blue chip bull run in India. So these are my top two stock picks right now. The first one, as we saw, is a giant cash generating machine. And the second one is a market leader on accelerated growth path. I have compiled all the information about these two stocks in my latest special report, Top 2 Stocks to Ride India's Blue Chip Bull Run. And I want to hand you a copy of this report immediately. I will recommend acting on this information fast. Because like I said earlier, 
three powerful forces could combine this election year to create a potential mega bull run in blue chip stocks. And among all the blue chip stocks, I believe these two stocks hold tremendous potential. The best part is these stocks are still available at reasonable valuations. Once the broader market discovers the true potential of these stocks, we could see a potential huge rally in these stocks. The window of opportunity to act on these stocks is limited. If you miss it now, then you could possibly lose out on making a big chunk of your potential gains altogether. So don't delay acting on this opportunity. You can find all the details in my latest special report, Top 2 Stocks to Ride India's Blue Chip Bull Run. My colleague Trupti will tell you how you can get your hands on this report right away. Thanks Tanushri for this detailed coverage of India's Blue Chip Bull Run opportunity. So as we saw, this is an emerging opportunity for Indian investors. And we all know that the best potential gains are only made when you ride an emerging trend in its early growth stages. Today, you have the opportunity to get on the ground floor of this mega trend and ride it all the way up. You can find all the details on how to do it in Tanushree's latest special report, Top 2 Stocks to Ride India's Blue Chip Bull Run. Now, this report is worth Rs. 2950, but you can instantly access it by joining Tanushree Banerjee's safe stock research service called Stock Select. Stock Select is our most popular blue chip stock recommendation service headed by Tanushree Banerjee. Tanushree is a staunch follower of investing principles of legends like Warren Buffett and Seth Klarman. Over the last two decades, Tanushree's research has guided thousands of Indians to build wealth with safe stocks. This is the reason why thousands of subscribers trust Tanushree and Stock Select to pick safe blue chip stocks for them. See for yourself what some of the Stock Select subscribers have to say about us. Dr. Ajmera Chandravadan from Rajkot says, Equity Master has made me more and more rich every year since my association with them. It has given me more wealth than my professional career. Dildar Singh from Thane says, I have been with Equity Master for nearly 20 years. Happy to have made a lot of money. Really investor-friendly and independent analysis. Mr. C. Chaudhary from Surat says, My experience is that the stock select is the most reliable for short and long term. I appreciate the solid analysis done by Mrs. Tanushri Banerjee that helps her in recommending reliable multi-baggers time and again in spite of the market's erratic behavior. And Pankaj Dashkar from Pune says, I am a subscriber of Equity Master since 2009 also enjoying handsome returns since then. I made this decision of joining Equity Master in one of the tough phases in my life and fully got paid for the right decision. Now, there are many more such messages that we have received from Stock Select subscribers. I've shown you just a few. As a member of Stock Select, you get access to some of the most exciting investment opportunities in the market. Every month, Tanushri will write to you in a new research report to update you on emerging trends and opportunities, and also alert you on stocks that could turn out to be potential landmines for investors, so that you can safely stay away from them. Now, we could have easily charged upwards of Rs 25,000 for the membership of Stock Select, but Tanushree wants her research to be made available to as many Indians as possible. So, we have kept the membership fee to join Stock Select very reasonable at just Rs 10,000 per year. Getting Stock Select at this price is an absolute steal because sometimes even a single Stock Select recommendation could potentially cover this cost many times over. But today, you won't have to pay the standard fee to join Stock Select. Now, before I tell you more about joining Stock Select, let me quickly show you all the benefits you'll get today. Instant access to top two stocks to ride India's blue chip bull run, worth Rs 2,950. Like Tanushree said, 
three powerful forces could combine this election year to ignite a potential mega bull run in blue chip stocks. Tanushri has already identified her top two stock picks to ride this opportunity. And she has put together her entire research on these two stocks and this mega opportunity in her latest special report, Top Two Stocks to Ride India's Blue Chip Bull Run. Now, this report is worth Rs. 2,950. But when you join Stock Select today, you can get instant access to it. Monthly Recommendation Reports on or before the last Friday of the month, Tanushri will release a detailed recommendation report which includes one new recommendation idea, latest views and updates on existing recommendations, 20 years of stock select research archive. You'll also get unlimited access to all the research published under stock select over the last 20 years. This content alone is worth tens of thousands of rupees. But as a member of Stock Select, you get full access to it right away. Equity Masters Private Briefing Never miss a single thing we publish. We now release a weekly email titled Private Briefing, which gives you a roundup of our best research published during the week. However, the Private Briefing isn't just about compiling everything in one place. If we have met any companies lately, or if there is some interesting discussion going on within our research team with regards to some company, we also tell you about it in the private briefing. Private briefing is available exclusively to premium members of Equity Master, and you will get it as long as you stay with us. Equity Master on the go. Now, you can access Equity Master on your smartphone through our mobile apps as well. Through the app, you can access the latest research reports, stock updates, all our e-newsletters, all other subscriber features on the go. A dedicated customer service team. If you ever have questions about your membership, send our customer service team an email. They will get back to you at the earliest and walk you through whatever you need. So again, you'll never have to worry about missing any critical research from Stock Select or any of our other services you are subscribed to. You can click on the link in your email and get the full information whenever you want. Most important of all, though once you join Stock Select, you will have access to all our research and analysis that can guide you to potentially grow your wealth with safe stocks. So in summary, Here's everything you'll get when you join Stock Select today. Instant access to Tanushree's latest special report, Top 2 Stocks to Ride India's Blue Chip Bull Run, worth Rs. 2,950. One year unlimited access to Tanushree's Safe Stocks Research Service, Stock Select, worth Rs. 10,000. Monthly recommendation reports, 20 years of Stock Select Research Archive, Equity Master's Intelligent Portfolio Tracker, plus a special surprise worth rupees 10,000. As you can see collectively, all these resources are worth at least rupees 22,950. But today, you won't have to pay anywhere near to this price. In fact, you won't have to pay even rupees 15,000 to access these resources, or even rupees 10,000 for that matter. Today, you can have it all for just Rs. 3,950. That's a huge 82% off. But please note that we cannot give away these premium resources at such an extremely low price forever. So we have kept a limit to the number of subscribers who can access this 82% off deal on Stock Select. If you're interested in potentially profiting from Tanushree's safe stock research and India's blue chip bull run opportunity, then I urge you to act fast because Tanushree has a cult following of thousands of Indians. Many of them are already subscribers of her other services, some of them costing up to rupees 1 lakh. I'm sure they may have already started subscribing to Stock Select. Since the number of spots for this special offer is limited, if you delay, then someone else might snap your deserved spot today. So don't waste even a second. Just hit the link in the description below. It will take you to a secure order form. 
There you can review the full list of your benefits once again. Now at this point, if you still have even a minor doubt about joining Stock Select, then let me give you my 100% money back guarantee. Try Stock Select for the next 30 days. Act on the stocks covered in our latest special report, Top 2 Stocks to Ride India's Blue Chip Bull Run. Get full access to all stock recommendation and our entire research archive of Stock Select. And after experiencing all this for the next 30 days, you feel that you are not getting enough value, then just let me know. And I will give you a prompt refund of every single rupee you paid to us today. Not only that, you can keep everything that you are receiving over the next 30 days with you. That's our way of thanking you for giving us a try. I think that's more than fair. So what's stopping you now? Just go ahead and try Stock Select with our 100% money back guarantee. You have nothing to worry. Just hit the link in the description below to get started. Remember, this special offer on Stock Select is only available for a limited number of subscribers. Once we hit this limit, then we may reset the price to join Stock Select. Why pay more when you can get resources worth Rs 22,950 for just Rs 3,950 today? So just go ahead and take full advantage of this 82% off offer and start your Stock Select investing journey today with Tanushree Stock Select.